There's family fun for everyone at the Utica Zoo. This is Educator Kathleen, and for today's episode of Kazoo, we will be talking all about classification. So what is classification, and why is it so important? Classification is the process of arranging and categorizing things into different groups by shared qualities and characteristics. Classifying animals helps biologists and scientists to better understand the relationship between organisms and makes it easier for them to study them. We have five different animal groups that live here at the Utica Zoo, invertebrates, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Invertebrates make up the largest part of our animal kingdom and include animals like jellyfish, lobsters, sponges, and insects like our Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Invertebrates do not have a backbone or internal skeleton, though our cockroaches here have something called an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a tough outer covering that provides support and protection. They are also cold-blooded, meaning that they warm their bodies by absorbing heat from their surroundings. Amphibians are animals that spend part of their life on land and part of their life in the water. This includes animals like frogs, toads, and salamanders. Our milk frog, Chip, is a type of tree frog that lives in the tropical rainforests of South America. Water is incredibly important for amphibians to survive, and so they usually live in very watery habitats like rainforest, streams, or marshes. Frogs that live in habitats that don't always have access to water hibernate or estivate during the dry season, like our African bullfrog, Veruca. Reptiles are animals that are covered in scales or scoots, which includes lizards, snakes, turtles, and crocodilians. Although many species of reptiles lay leathery eggs, not all reptiles do. They are also cold-blooded, just like invertebrates and amphibians. You can find reptiles in almost every habitat in the world, except for polar ice and tundras. Our iguanas, Blackfoot and Stubby, are the largest lizards that we have in our reptile hall, but the title of the largest lizard in the world is held by the Komodo dragon. Birds come in many shapes and sizes, but they are categorized as egg layers and having feathers. A bird's feathers are made out of keratin, just like our hair and fingernails. Feathers help birds do many things, including keeping them warm, flying, and even showing off. Did you know that all three of our wandering peacocks are boys? Oftentimes, the birds with the prettiest feathers are the males, and they display these feathers to attract a mate. Unlike reptiles, birds are warm-blooded and can regulate their own body temperature. Last but not least, we have our mammals. Mammals have hair on their bodies and produce milk to feed their young. Mammals make up a large part of our zoo, and one of the most unique mammals that we have here is our three-banded armadillo, Artie. Although he may look like a reptile because of the scales on his back, if you look at his arms and tummy, you can see that he also has hair as well. Armadillos are actually the only mammals that are covered by a shell, and the three-banded armadillo is the only species that can completely close itself within its shell. Here at the zoo, Artie gets a special insectivore diet made for animals like him that like to eat bugs, mealworms, and hard-boiled egg. Hard-boiled egg is definitely his favorite. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our website at unikazoo.org slash kazoo for some lessons and activities all about classification. Also, if you've got a question about the animals featured in this video or any of our animals here at the zoo, you can email or mail them to us and they may be featured on an upcoming episode of Kazoo. Thank you very much.